talk about Martin J. Ward, who we're hoping to go and see at his house a bit later on. Mm. Um, he's obviously had a bit of a setback against yeah. James Tennyson recently. Just tell us what you think the reasons for that were and, and where he goes from here. I think he's just getting the weight again, you know. Uh, well, it was. When he turned pro, he turned pro a lightweight. And uh, I remember at that time, I, uh, I said I, he weren't really dieting at the time. So I said, look, everyone around you dieting, um, drop down a weight to super feather, but he's all been holding that for the last four years now. And I think it's just dirting him, you know, he, he's big for the weight. And uh, I, I, I think even though he, he, he ain't said really much about the defeat, I, I, same thing again, what happened with Ryder and Blackmore, he's winning the early rounds easy. And he just like, he, to me, he never even got hit hard. There was just nothing in him, do you know what I mean? Nothing at all in him. And that's what happens when you do the weight, especially down at them small weights, if you're just like a pound and two struggling. And when I was looking in my diary, um, the week before, the week before this fight, he was he was two pounds heavier than he normally would be. Right. So in them little two pounds there that you've got to get off the following week. Especially the, the lighter fight, weights. The lighter weights, you know, it hurts you. And I believe, you know, he, he should move up to lightweight now. He should go to lightweight and reboot his career at that weight. Ricky Burns, you've obviously become involved with Ricky in the later yeah. stages of his career. We say the later stages, no one knows when he's going to retire or if he's going to retire anytime yeah. soon. But what keeps him going and what is the next stage for him? Um, I don't know what keeps it going, <laughs> to be truthful, because he's done everything in the sport. You know, he's a free weight world champion and I was lucky enough to to... to to uh, work with him and win that last world title with him. And it's been a pleasure, absolute pleasure working with a man. Um, as everyone knows, he ain't the most skillful fighter or technical fighter in the world, but boy, does he train hard and put everything, his heart and soul into the training. And Ricky loves the sport, absolutely loves the sport. And as you say, who knows how long he's gonna go on for. He, he's, he's chasing another big fight somewhere, wherever. Uh, wherever Eddie, Eddie gets him a big fight and you know he just loves being in the gym loves training trains hard and he's a great influence on all these young boys in there so they look at him and they say well that's what you got to do to become a world champion that's what you got to do how he trains like that you know and it's great to see have someone like that around, you, around the youngsters in the gym mm -hmm.